Hey there guys, today we're going to be looking at the performance of, of Valorant on the 200GE on the Vega 3 integrated graphics. Now overall I think the performance on this chip is actually really really well. You can see the 1% loads are a little low but they really tend to only dip when I die and spawn back in. Overall while gaming we're looking at over 60 FPS. This is really, really solid performance of frame times. You can see them spiking a little bit, but honestly, it's not very bad at all. Like I, I had such a good time playing with this CPU GPU combo. I, I actually sat here and played for the next two hours. I normally don't do that while testing just because sometimes the performance in games can be pretty bad that you kind of get taken out of it. This was not the case at all. I was so engrossed. This was actually one of the first games of Valorant that I've ever played, so please excuse the gameplay. Speaking of which, I can't believe I lived in that situation. But overall, I had so much fun playing on here that I just I ended up losing a good chunk of my day just sitting here playing on this system. And I normally don't do that for the test systems. There's only been a few situations where I've really just sat there and had such a good time that there went my day. But the performance is really, really good. Very, very consistent. There are drops here and there. If you are in the market for this CPU, I would really recommend looking for the 3000G instead of the uh, 200GE because being able to overclock both the CPU and the GPU, I think will get you where you wanna be. With this those one percent lows are a little concerning to me just because there will be those moments where there might be a lag spike and that could be the difference between you living and dying but if you don't really care about that you just want to have fun you want to just be able to play on whatever you have now know that you'll be able to play valorant on your system really really well i had just such a blast with this some of the best performance that i've had on a small cheap cpu like this the the i really love the 200 ge just because of the fact that it is so low power it is so cheap and you can still get some great performance in some of the most popular modern games now obviously you're not going to be able to do high refresh rate if you're playing at 1080p like this is but if you actually drop down to 720p the performance does get a lot better i really wouldn't do it though i i like playing at 1080p more and like i think the 1080p performance is good enough for me that i'm not willing to really sacrifice the the visual quality like that overall though really really fun game to play on this system if you're in one of those markets where you have been absolutely destroyed by the prices of things by the way i can't believe i survived here I was looking at my MSI Afterburner settings for a bit, and I can't believe that guy looked at me and was not able to murder. But overall though, I think this is great. If you have this SOC, it's going to be great. I do have some recommendations, or a recommendation down below if you want to upgrade. It's a little misleading though. It's an Amazon link to the 4000 series uh, Ryzen 5 APUs. Those things are great, really great upgrade for this CPU if you just want to stick to APUs. It's an Amazon link though, and it's a little misleading. It's very expensive on there. Really, they're expensive overall, but if you look on AliExpress, you'll find them cheaper. And if you're in one of those regions where lo buying locally new parts is just grossly expensive, AliExpress is one of your only options, and you don't mind spending a bit more, those... 4000 series APUs are great. We are going to be having the 5000 series launching soon, but the prices on those, depending on your region, might be just a little too brutal. So I'd keep an eye on those 4000 series APUs, see where their price kind of like levels out after the 5000 series comes out, and see if they're within your budget. If you want to buy it on Amazon and support me, I would greatly appreciate that, but trust me, I know what it's like to, you know, financially struggle in these situations. So, if you don't want to spend that kind of cash on Amazon, trust me, I completely understand. And I, myself, would not really recommend getting it on there unless you just care about shipping time. So, 
Anyways, that will be the end for me, guys. I'm going to let this play out so you can see just how the rest of this game went performance wise. You'll see there were wasn't really anything too bad or anything like that. Really fantastic exper experience. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if this was helpful to you. And if there is any game that you want me to look at on this SOC or any other ones that I might have on the, the channel. I also do have a 2200G that I might actually be testing this game on because I was blown away by the performance on here. I want to see what a little bit more APU performance will get us out of this. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys. Bye. Dominating. Sova removed. Five kills remaining. One kill remaining. <laughs>